In this video I'll be talking about a DIY Bluetooth uh, speaker project. Uh, this, is, this came as a kit from a guy called Barry. I'll link it down in the description. As you can see I did fuck up the paint job a bit on the front so that didn't go quite so well. I let the, f uh, the sides as they were from the laser cutting. Uh, the back came out better. I did use a Stabilo .88 for the coloring, which I should have done on the front, but I didn't, so you guys should do it. Did add some uh, reinforcements for the screws. I'll show you guys. You'll see that later. And um, did my best to recess those as best as possible. So, um, other modifications I did. I uh, did choose to go for a double the capacity, so I did put two 18650 cells. As you can see, I just paralleled them here. This shouldn't be a problem so long as the cells are the same age. We shall not talk about why the other cell is uh, completely decapped. Moving on, I uh, did choose to um, use epoxy instead of uh, hot snot in all the critical areas. The boards and uh, the batteries are still using hot snot. And that is mainly for servicing, so hot snot is quite easy to prise apart, whereas the epoxy is quite quite solid. Uh, I've chosen a different uh, arrangement for the uh, battery management. So this is a uh, board that integrates the charging and the discharge protection. So the two, uh, the two chips on the right. Uh, handle the discharge protection so they cut off the power from the cell. They disconnect the cell once its uh, voltage is too low. Also do want to point out that I did reinforce the USB port which I highly recommend you do as well. Just don't forget to plug in a USB while you do that. Moving on, um, do watch out for the, uh, for the fact that the uh, switch has two holes on each side, so I did fuck up mine the first time around, which was terrible because that was on a Saturday, so I lost two days because of that until I got a new switch, so do watch out for that. Next in line, I want to talk about the uh, fact that the speaker does sound quite a lot better in some scenarios, so not always, when it's on its back, so you might want to use a switch with a smaller lever and also put some, uh, some feet on the back. Also, do keep in mind that to make this speaker sound as best as it can, you will need to condition the sound quite a little bit. And the way you do this is, as depicted above, uh, by suppressing the mids and highs quite significantly and increasing the bass a tiny bit, although that, that is a matter of taste. Uh, here I'm just showing you uh, how the thing looks completed. Uh, as, as a wrap up I would say that the battery life is stellar so I'm getting basically half year battery. So I'm not using this, this like all that often but still I haven't charged it since I made it so it's outstanding and I have used it at least 10 to 15 hours. And all the other details you will find in the in the video that Barry made, so that it will be the first thing I'll link below. So now getting to the most interesting part, a slow-mo video of the speakers moving, so enjoy. <laughs>